Good evening and thanks for watching News on Times Television TTV. You're with me, who wonder since your face the headlines. No time to waste in turning Malawi's economy around, the President Chakwila has said. Malawi Electoral Commission announces official results in the Tuesday's by-elections on Thursday and report for its public officers on public finance management. We have these plus many other stories. Please do stay with us. <laughs> President Razaras Chakwila has said Malawi does not have the luxury of time and efforts to turn its economy around. President Chakwila says Malawi needs to leverage the power of partnership with countries that share the country's vision and respect its values. President Chakwila was speaking in Longwe on Wednesday during a book launch titled The Asian Aspiration, written by four authors, including former Nigerian President Olusgan Obasanjo and former Ethiopian Prime Minister Haile Mariam Desali. Matthews Cassandra reports. The book explains how Africa can emulate the Asian journey from poverty to prosperity. Speaking at the event, Shakira said Malawi needs the power of global partnership with those who share its vision and leave the country vulnerable to exploitation. The African continent can no longer be asked to wait for the socioeconomic transformation of its countries, nor can Africans be expected to follow the prescriptions of countries that preach to them what they themselves do not practice. We as Africans have clarity about what we want to make of our countries. We as Africans have clarity about whose prescriptions over the past 50 years have helped us and whose prescriptions have failed us. In his remarks, Obasanjo said Africa can achieve what Asia has achieved, but what the African nations need is to set their priorities right. He also called for strong leadership supported by strong institutions that will focus on the set priorities we should be pursued continuously. Apart from Obasanjo and Dizlan, other writers of the book were Craig Mills and Emily Van Der Mary. The launch was also attended by former president of Malawi, Joyce Banda, and vice president, Saulus Chilima. The Malawi Electoral Commission make is tomorrow expected to announce official results of the Tuesday's by-elections. This is according to MEC Director of Media and Public Relations, Sangwani Mafrirwa. An official results indicate Malawi Congress Party has won four of the seven constituencies. Evis Hoahoa speaks to Mafrirwa. Well, uh, the commission continued sitting uh, the rest of today, uh, receiving results from the returning officers from the areas where we had by-elections and also working or determining on the results. As of 5 o'clock today, uh, the Commission had received the results from all the areas minus uh, Chikwawa and Sanje. We understand the terrain in Sanje and Chikwawa that uh, in some areas we have to go by boats and uh, it wasn't uh, possible to go yesterday or in the night because uh, uh, there was a lot of rain in some areas uh, along the lower Shire and uh, it wasn't possible to cross the Shire River. So the rats, the rats were taken today to the district tally center. So any time today we are expecting the results from Chikwawa and Sanje to come to the tally center. Uh, for the results that we have already received, the commission is doing three things. One, looking into the issues of complaints. At each and every polling station, the commission places a logbook where all complaints lodged uh, have to be recorded, uh, the complaint and also the solution of that. So it also happens that in some cases, some complaints lodged are not satisfactorily resolved at the polling station level and are referred to the commission. So the commission has to look into that and as per uh, requirement of the law, the commission has to make 
a determination uh, before we announce the results. So the commission is looking into the, all the log books to see that there is no issue that is outstanding. Uh, the second thing is that the commission is looking uh, and affirming into uh, affirming the null and void votes that have been received from uh, the retaining officers. Uh, this is a requirement of the law that all null and void votes should be brought physically to the commission, and the commission should examine and affirm that all the null and void received we are indeed in non void votes. And you do in some instances have cases whereby a vote has been classified as non and void at a polling station level. But when the commission looks into it, they can really see that the vote is a valid one. So the vote is declassified as a valid one. Once a vote has been declassified, the, that vote is added to the candidate whom it was voted for. So this should be an explanation should people see that the final results that are announced by the Commission uh, have been different from the results which uh, were obtained when they are doing the tally for the constituency at the council level. Uh, the third thing that the Commission is doing is uh, looking into the, it's involving a lot of uh, board papers to be examined and also the look books. But uh, looking at the progress that we have had today, uh, we are on course that uh, tomorrow by 11.30 the commission will be announcing who are the final winners are. Make Director of Media and Public Relations Sangwani Mwafriroa. In Chisi North, an official results show that MCP candidate Arnold Kadzanja carried the day, while MCP's Francis Berekanyama won the Long Wemsinja South Parliamentary Poll. In Sanje Central and Sanje Central and North constituencies, an official results show Kafandikale Mandevana and Enok Chizuza, both MCP candidates, also carried the day. UTM candidate Felix Kaila has won Karonga North parliamentary seat, according to the unofficial result. In Zomba Changalome, an official result show independent candidate Bizu Kimilioni as the winner, while UDF candidate Rodrik Kumbaniwa has won in Chikwawa East. A report on a good Public finance management has footed public officers for deliberately ignoring laws governing public funds. The report, which was focused on how citizen participation can enhance good public finance management, notes that politicians and public officers use citizens' ignorance on government policies to abuse resources. Kumbo Kaliwo has filed this report read by Matthews Cassander. The report reveals lack of oversight role of citizens and failure to synchronize expenditure and activity implementation on public resources. Speaking during the launch of dissemination of the report, Minister of Civic Education and National Unity, Timothy Ntambo, said his ministry is establishing a government and citizens engagement platform called Pabalo. He says the platform will enable citizens and government to meet and deliberate on government policies. But what is important is that this report is basically reminding us as a country that we have to do something. We are talking about public finance management. The finances belong to the public and those that are in public offices are entrusted with the responsibility do that on behalf of the people. I think we are in the process of establishing accountability platforms like the Pabuaro. Next week, my ministry will be launching a government and citizens engagement platform called Pabuaro, where we will be meeting citizens and the government to engage on policies and legislation of this nature to see on our best we can land our government as transparent and as open as possible. Director for Centre for Social Concern, Father James Ngahe, says lack of checks and balances on resource utilisation promotes corruption. He says the aim of the research was to identify, review and analyse the bottlenecks that hinder participation of citizens in public management at all levels in the government machinery. From the interviews which they did from the different villages, it has shown that quite a number of people are not aware of all this. They are not quite aware, and therefore we need to engage the very project is an empowerment 
of the citizens you know, to uh, demand transparency and accountability. So we are to empower them to make sure that they understand, they know what is on, uh, in the documents, and from there, then they can push the government uh, to be transparent and accountable on public finance uh, management. In February 2021, Center for Social Concern commissioned a study to determine how improved citizen participation can enhance good public finance management for reduced poverty and inequality. And news just coming in, President Lazarus Chakwila says he still has more time before coming up with a new cabinet. Mm. President Chakwila has since asked Malawians to exercise a little more patience. State House Press Secretary Brian Banda says in a statement that the President will announce the new cabinet after reviewing a performance assessment report on the ministries which Vice President Saul Stilima submitted to him. And players in the tea industry have reaffirmed their commitment to support women involved in the supply chain. Officials made the commitment as players in the industry commemorated this year's International Women's Day, which falls on March 8th. Minister of Gender Patricia Kriati and Deputy Minister of Labor Vela Kantukle graced the event which was organized by the Tea Association of Malawi. Francis Namondwe has filed this report read by Justin Mkweu. Players from the tea industry gathering here at Ntambanyama Primary School ground in Makwasa Choro district. This is part of the commemoration of International Women's Day which falls on March 8 each year. They are committed to empowering women to take key position in the tea supply chain. In these industries, the tea industries are abusing women's sexual harassment. They are going to face the law and we are going to arrest them. What the message is now, they need to come to us and register all their challenges. They need not to register those in the UK or in London, but they've got to register in, our, in, in us. Be it in human rights, be it in our course, we have the sons and daughters of the soil who are going to look into the registrations and the act and implement it, implement it accordingly. Sangwani Hara is Tea Association of Malawi Chairperson and he said players are committed towards safeguarding women's rights and interests. Gender-based violence has been there uh, in the tea estates, just like in the general society of Malawi. So we were not spared, so that problem uh, existed. Uh, but uh, as you have seen, we are now uh, trying to deal with it uh, in terms of the uh, policy. Uh, at the policy level, we have a very good policy and we are now rolling it out on the estates. Every year since uh, 2017, we've been celebrating the achievements of women. And uh, for us, we go back to the gender policy and see the uh, strides that we uh, make every year. And also look at the areas where we have challenges in terms of uh, implementing the policy. During the event, the association donated hand washing facilities, face masks and soap to five schools around the area. The commemoration was held under the theme, I Choose to Challenge. You're watching News on Times Television, TTV and Times 360 Malawi. We'll be back after this short break. <laughs> Your gums hurt? Yeah. Does your toothpaste contain sage, eucalyptus, mirror, chamomile? All that in one toothpaste? Yes, try Colgate Herbal. Colgate Herbal contains nature's best herbs and Colgate's fluoride technology to give you strong teeth and healthy gums. Ah, Colgate Herbal. Let's go. Colgate Herbal for strong teeth and healthy gums naturally. To achieve great things in life, you must do little things every day, like the one, two, three with Colgate. One, wake up, wake up. Two, brush up, brush up. Three, smile through your day with a fresh breath and strong tea. Smile through your day with a fresh breath and strong tea. Do the one, two, three with Colgate and give yourself a future to smell about.
Define your surroundings with the color of your choice. Make it warm, creative, friendly, and vibrant. Coat textures. Durable color options with up to 1,200 color shades to choose from. Be it economy range or premium range paints, innovative paint and color technology in every drop. Available in Blantar, Build Africa, and Limby Corner Mart Building, and in Nilongwe, along M12 Road, close to Gateway Mall. Tropical Paints, your world in color. Welcome back. You're watching News on Times Television, TTV and Times 360 Malawi Facebook page. National Bank Capital Markets has handed over a 1.2 million kwacha air conditioner at Chiladzulu District Hospital to help in regulating temperature in the theater room. A reporter Llewellyn Impasa witnessed the handover and has filed this report read by Elvis Hoahoa. Are improving the availability and utilization of emergency obstetric care. Chiradzulu Hospital lacks basic theatre equipment like CTG machine and surgical operating lights. The sterilizing drums in the theatre have been used since the hospital was opened in 2005, according to the hospital officials. Out of the three theatres, the hospital is functioning with only one operating room, which had no air conditioner, thanks to NBM Capital for the installation of a new 1.2 million air conditioner for regulating and filtration of the theatre. Senior medical officer for Jiradzuru, Dr. Madalitso Karima, thanks NBM Capital for the timely donation. Uh, we are thankful to uh, NBM Capital for bailing us. I think this is a problem which has been there for quite some time and uh, we really wanted uh, uh, people to help us. So currently as a district we are fighting uh, high maternal mortality uh, death. And then if you look at the spectrum of the whole process, we need to have uh, an area where uh, we can have, we can be giving uh, these very sick patients uh, obstetric emergencies. So that's why we are lobbying for, uh, to have an HDU in the district. And to have this, uh, there are things which we already have and there are things which we don't have. Mostly we're looking for things like monitors, uh, so this is something which can cost somewhere around one million, but it would go a long way in helping uh, patients. NBM Capital Fund Manager Elton Masiao, while handing over the donation, said this is just the beginning of things to come. Uh, as we said, that the, uh, NBM Capital, one of the issues that I think we focus much is on social uh, corporate responsibility. So what we have done is just the beginning of the journey, and we hope that I think we will be together where there's a need and they're thinking uh, uh, something that we can accommodate to make sure that this will continue for the foreseeable future. NBM Capital Markets Limited is a registered portfolio wholly owned subsidiary of National Bank of Malawi. Its business lines range from fund management services, corporate finance and advisory services and private wealth management services. Now. A blunder based student, Everson Harry, is asking for support in form of tuition fees to proceed with his education at Malawi College of Health Sciences. Harry was selected to study diploma in clinical medicine but risked losing the place because of lack of money. Our reporter, Isaac Salima, speaks to Harry. I need a school fees uh, in my academic because I've been currently uh, selected to pursue my diploma in the clinical medicine at the uh, Malawi Health Sciences. Yeah, that's why I'm here. Because, uh, okay, uh, so far, I uh, just need uh, someone who can help in uh, uh, my, my degree, which is, uh, which I was selected in uh, at Malawi College of Health Sciences in uh, uh, library licenses and the, if there's some who can help uh, in my diploma which I've currently been selected at Malawi Sciences yeah they can help 
F. Sunhari appealing for help there. And with that item, we've come to the end of the bulletin. But before we go, the headlines once again. No time to waste in tending Malawi's economy, says President Lazarus Chakwila. Malawi Electoral Commission announces official results in Tuesday's by-elections on Thursday. And the report faults public officers on public finance management. You've been with me, Wonder and uh, Wanda Msisia. You can get more on these and other stories by visiting our website, www.times.mw, liking our Facebook page, Times360 Malawi, and following us on Twitter, Times360 Malawi. Remember to wash your hands regularly, observe social and physical distance, and mask up. Please stay safe. Good evening.